And this is the only thing every true Christian needs to reach and receive. Look for that moment when the Lord Jesus points that finger at you and says, this is my son. Because if Jesus Christ is your love, then what people do to you and what people say about you is totally and utterly beside the point. Beside the point. Because the one you love is the one who takes all your focus. Therefore, what others say mean nothing. It's very easy, you see. But if you don't love the Lord and you speak in His name and somebody attacks you, no, no, all hell will break loose. Will break loose. See, because I was preaching to gain <clears throat> my glory on the account of Christ. So when I'm doing it for my own glory, for my own personal benefits to gain wealth and fame, then I will not allow anybody to touch me or hurt me. And if anybody does, I will retaliate with great force. But when I'm doing it from the heart to the heart, to the sacred heart of Jesus Christ, when I'm doing it for Him, then whatever people do or say about me, I am absolutely joyous and happy. Because it matters not how people perceive me. What matters is that Jesus says, this is my son in whom I am pleased. That's all I want. And this is the only thing every true Christian needs to reach and receive. Look for that moment when the Lord Jesus points that finger at you and says, this is my son. Angels, salute him as he walks through the gate of heaven. Welcome him with honor, with glory, for he is my son whom I have loved and died for. This is the ultimate gift, the ultimate reward every Christian and every faithful needs to look forward to when Christ acknowledge you as his son. Anything and everything outside of that is absolutely vanity of all vanities. It means nothing that I was a pope. It means nothing that I was a cardinal. It means nothing that I was a bishop. It means nothing that I was a president, I was a king, I was a prime minister, I was a wealthy person, I was a very influential person. All of this means nothing until Christ says, this is my son. Jesus is love. And he wants you to love him back. That's all Christianity is. When you love him back, then he will teach you. How to come to church, how to pray, how to read the Holy Bible, how to preach, and how to live for Him. He is the teacher, not me. He is the master, not me. He is the good shepherd who leads me to green pastures and still waters. I am the sheep. I can never be the shepherd. Even though the Lord put me as a shepherd in the church, but when I come to Him, I am His sheep. I'm not the shepherd. For the shepherd is one, and that is Christ the King, period. From the Pope to the deacon are all sheep, followers of Christ. 